In this lesson, we are going to look at formatted strings in Python programming language. Formatted strings are particularly useful in situations where you dynamically generate some text with your variables. Let me show you what does it mean. Let's say you have one variable, name, and the name is Nurjaman Faruqi. And you have another variable, that is code name, and the code name is NF. Now with these two variables, we want to generate some text like this. Nurjaman Faruqi, in bracket NF, teaches AI. Then we want to print it on the terminal window. So, how do we do this? Define a variable named message. Then add this variable. After that, concatenate the bracket. After that, concatenate this variable. After that, concatenate this closing brackets and write teaches AI. Then print this message. So, we have got the result we wanted. This approach is fine. There is nothing wrong with it. Except, it looks messy and it is very difficult to read and understand what is going on here. We can get the same result using a much simpler and well-organized method called formatted string, which is actually the topic of this lesson. I'm going to define another variable named message underscore one and set this to a formatted string. A formatted string is the one starts with an F, then a set of single code or double code. Now in between the codes, first we need to add the value of the name variable. So add set of curly brackets. Here we put the variable name. Outside of the curly brackets, we type the plain brackets. Inside of the plain brackets, we again take a set of curly brackets and put this variable here. After that, we write the rest of the part. Teaches AI. Let's print it. This is message one and run the program. The results are same. With these curly brackets, we are defining placeholders in our string. When we run the program, these placeholders will be filled with the value of the variables. So, here we have two placeholders. One is for the value of name variable and another is for the value of code name. Now compare this formatted string with concatenation. Formatted string approach is much more convenient, easier to read. So from now on, whenever we need to generate some content dynamically, we will use formatted string. That's all for this lesson. Let's see what we have in the next lesson.